Hello everyone. How are you all? I hope everybody is doing fine. And yes, I am also good. Let's have a look at this story that is uh, House Mouse. And it's a very interesting story. Uh, if you talk about the characters, so Mrs. Uh, Malady is there, a mouse is there, and Mrs. Malady's neighbors are there. Setting is very simple, only two places, Mrs. Malady's house and the hospital are being mentioned in whole story. Uh, let's have a look at the characteristic of uh, Mrs. Malady. So Mrs. Malady is a very clean lady. She likes keeping her house clean. But on the contrary, she doesn't like people to come in her house. She doesn't entertain anyone. She even frowns. She even becomes angry if somebody tries to wish her good morning. Okay, so this is how she is. But later on, she learns her lesson that friendship and being nice to others is also important. She understands how to smile and how to be thankful to them. But that one episode, which exactly happened in her life, which changed her from, a, from an angry person to a warm and, and lovely person is quite uh, interesting. So let's have a look how it exactly happened. So before starting uh, this story reading, I just want to go through with the few words which I think you should know the meaning to understand this uh, story well. Uh, there are few, you can look at the screen. Uh, first is nibble. Uh, when you take a small quick bite, that is nibbling. Scowled, yes, very right. You can easily guess meaning of scowled by looking at the picture. Frowning or looking angry is scowling. Dusters, yes, clothes which you use to uh, which you use to wipe up your uh, furniture or uh, any place. Uh, scrubbing, yes, rubbing hard any surface to make it clean. That is scrubbing. Uh, let's have a look at the story now. So I'm going to start a reading. And I'll try to explain meaning uh, whenever I feel like that. Yes, you would not be able to understand it properly. Uh, let's start. So, Mrs. Malady had no children, no friends, no car, no dog, and no parrot. She lived alone. When people said good morning to her, she scowled. When the postman brought her letters, she opened the door, the smallest crack to take them in and banged it shut again. So, as I told you, she was a lady who doesn't entertain anyone much and uh, she gets angry even if somebody tries to wish her good morning. Even if a postman knock at her door, she will not bother to open the door wide, uh, wide but uh, she'll just open it that much uh, so that from that crack, she would take uh, those letters in and then again, she shut the door with a loud noise. All day long, she cleaned her house, wiped the windows, polished the furniture, and scrubbed the sink. Nobody ever came to her house. So, she is cleaning her house all day long, but she doesn't want anyone to come, her, come to her house because she doesn't want her house to get dirty, maybe. So under her sink, there lived a mouse. He was lonely too. He did not harm to the house. He did not eat the cheese. He didn't make holes in the woodwork. He didn't uh, leave dirty paw, paw marks on the shelves. He found all his food outdoors and came indoors only to get some company. This mouse was not like other mouses who used to dirty the house. Wherever they are, they will just uh, leave the paw marks. They will just make holes in the clothes or the woodwork. They will just eat whatever they find in the kitchen and they will just dirty the place where if you can see the mess, wherever you will find the mouse. But this mouse was different from other 
mice. But Mrs. Mallory didn't like mice. When she caught the sight of him, she yelled as if a tiger had come into the kitchen. So this lady doesn't like even this mouse. Though this mouse enters this her house in order to seek some company and he himself knows that this lady also uh, needs some company. This lady is alone. So, but Mrs. Mallory doesn't like to be with this mouse and she starts, uh, she starts yelling, she starts screaming as if she has, as if she has seen some uh, tiger. As soon as she catches his uh, sight. So, this frightened the mouse away. But mouse did not stay away for longer because he was very lonely. This is how it goes. So one day, Mrs. Malady spent the morning dusting everything in the house. And after dusting everything, she washed the dusters and hung them out side by side to dry on a clothesline in the garden. So she wiped her house, she cleaned the duster, she hung the duster on the clothesline. Then she emptied out the soapy water, but dropped the soap. When she bent to pick it up, she slipped and fell on the kitchen floor. Now what happened? She emptied out soapy water, but while she was doing that, by mistake, her, uh, she dropped her soap. And again, when she tried to pick it up, she slipped and she was she found herself on the kitchen floor. The mouse was really scared by, uh, by the sight. So he ran round and round her. He even tickled her chin with his sharp little nose, but nothing would wake her up. So he, she was faint and uh, he tried his best to wake her up, but nothing worked out. When Mrs. Malady did wake up, she found she couldn't move. Now, somehow, she uh, came into her senses and uh, when she found herself lying on the floor, she just noticed that she is not able to move her body. Oh, little mouse, if only you were able to help me, she said. Now she saw that I'm lying on the floor and mouse is uh, uh, just uh, wandering around me. And if he could just help her out. If you were a cat, you could fetch the neighbors. And if you were a dog, you could bark till somebody came. If you were a parrot, you could shout, help, help. But I don't think a mouse can do anything at all. So she is feeling helpless right now because uh, she is comparing this mouse with uh, a dog which according to her can help by barking. She is comparing this mouse with uh, a cat which according to her could catch or could fetch the neighbors easily. But this is a simple mouse which is of no use according to her. But the mouse ran out into the garden and looked around. But this mouse was in so much uh, uh, worry that uh, he just tried to help her out. He ran out, he looked around, uh, he saw on the clothesline Mrs. Malady's dusters were blowing in the wind. So then the mouse had a great idea. He ran up the post that held the line and began to nibble at the dusters. He bit till the first duster looked like a big edge. Then he attacked the next and nibbled it into an E. Uh, the third duster became an L and the last a P. So he was a smart mouse. So he found out he found out a way to help Mrs. Malady. And how he did, did that exactly? He nibbled those dusters, which Mrs. Malady hung on the clothesline. He nibbled uh, those dusters into the shape of help. 
So first duster, he nibbled into a shape of H, then the second one into E, then uh, the third one into L, and the last one into P shape. He nibbled every duster and all together, they made a single word that was help. Help hung on the line, waving in the wind. The next door neighbor saw it from her window. So, because help was a bit alarming for neighbors also, they that word caught neighbors' attention. And uh, they came to know that something is fishy, something is troublesome, something is there which needs uh, in an immediate attention. So they, they when they saw it, they, uh, they immediately ran to help her out. So help hung on the line, waving in uh, the wind. The next door neighbors saw it from her window. Something is wrong at Mrs. Malady's. She shouted. In a minute, everybody was running to Mrs. Malady's house. The mouse went back underneath the sink and uh, soon the doctor arrived and then the ambulance. Mrs. Malady was taken to the hospital. So just because of this little mouse uh, cleverness, now neighbors were at uh, Mrs. Malady's home. And, uh, and soon after, doctor arrived, ambulance arrived, and, and they took Mrs. Malady to hospital. Mrs. Malady had broken her leg. Uh, everybody was kind to her. The neighbors brought her sweets and fruits and uh, flowers. Mrs. Malady began to smile when she saw them coming. And she also smiled at the nurses and the doctors and even at the other patients. She became quite a popular old lady in the ward. So uh, she had broken her leg because of this incident and uh, everybody was uh, kind to her. She noticed it and she was very thankful towards her neighbors now and they used to bring her uh, sweets and fruits and flowers. So this is the incident which changed uh, Mrs. Malady. She started uh, smiling and uh, whenever she saw that the doctor or nurse are approaching, they, she started uh, greeting them also. Even she has started talking to the patients, to other patients as well. And because of her good nature, now because she has changed, because of her good nature, everybody started liking her. But but what we can't understand is how you even hung the message on the clothesline when your leg was broken, the neighbor said. So what they were not able to understand, if Mrs. Malady's leg was broken, then how this message, help, was hung over there on the clothesline? If we hadn't seen it, you might be lying there now. So this was their concern. They were just surprised. How come this help uh, came over there on the clothesline if her leg, her leg was broken? And uh, what message asked Mrs. Malady? You know, Mrs. Malady was a bit surprised. She wasn't aware of that help thing up till now. They brought her the dusters and laid them out on her bed. Help she read she read uh, after listening to this her neighbors brought her the dusters and uh, just showed that to her and when they just laid them out on her bed she could read that it meant help it looks as if they had been eaten away said the neighbors and i believe it was my mouse said mrs vanity now it was uh, clear to her now she came to know who had done that then mrs malady came home people came visiting the house and mrs malady introduced all of them to the mouse now she has understood the importance of the mouse the little mouse also now she came to know that everyone whoever is there in your life whether small or big has their own importance. So you should not neglect them. You shouldn't 
think less of them because everybody is having uh, having their own qualities they can do something different from others according to their capabilities so you shouldn't consider anybody anybody lower than you so this lesson was clear to her and uh, the mouse was a shy mouse and a lonely mouse so he felt a little shy and uh, because there was so much unexpected unexpected attention so after receiving so much attention he was a bit shy and he went back under the sink but when the visitors had gone away and only he and mrs melody were together in the kitchen he crept out from under the sink at last she acknowledged that thing that the mouse was the cleverest mouse and she was going to keep these dusters forever just to prove this fact so very uh, interesting story it is i i hope you all uh, liked it and uh, you enjoyed it so so this is the story actually written by ursula williams uh, who was an english author and i hope you enjoyed this story hit the like button and uh, i would really appreciate if you will uh, uh, write your comments in the comment section and uh, subscribe my channel for the latest updates thank you thank you for watching